If you've never heard of or watched The Sopranos, it's a classic show, a crime drama that aired on HBO. It centers on Tony Soprano, played by James Gandolfini, an Italian mobster based out of New Jersey who goes to therapy and juggles his family life and criminal organization. Created by David Chase, the show ran for six seasons, from 1999 to 2007. It's one of the top tier shows that's always talked about. And so thanks to streaming, I finally got around to watching it. And here are some things that I noticed watching the series. Number one, The Sopranos is the godfather of the anti-heroes. If you've been watching drama series for the past 20 years, you've most likely rooted for the bad guy. Before Walter White, before Dexter or Marty Bird, this show set the tone for the sinister protagonist. As I watched the series, everything Tony did wasn't a big shock because I'm used to anti-heroes acting this way. But back in 1999, when the show debuted, this behavior was unheard of and changed television. Number two, the theme show music by Alabama 3, Woke Up This Morning, was sampled by Nas for his song, Got Yourself a Gun. Number three, there are several actors on this show that also appeared in The Goodfellas. The Goodfellas is another classic in pop culture that centers on the Italian mob. The most notable actors in The Sopranos and The Goodfellas are Lorraine Bracco, Tony Soprano's therapist, Michael Imperioli, who plays Christopher, Tony's protege, Tony Sirico, who played Paulie, and Frank Vincent, who played Phil Leotardo. Number four, Michael Imperioli had a small role in the first Bad Boys movie with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. He played Jojo, a mechanic that provides Will and Martin's characters some info. And while we're on the subject of Bad Boys, number five, Joe Pantoliano, who played the police captain in the Bad Boys franchise, plays Ralph, a member of Tony's crime family. Many also may know him from The Matrix or The Goonies. Number six, Drea De Mateo, who plays Adriana, Christopher's girl, starred in Sons of Anarchy as Jax Teller's ex-wife, Wendy. Ironically, both characters Drea played had substance abuse problems. Number seven, before Mike Epps broke out in Next Friday, he had a small role in the episode of the first season of The Sopranos, playing a small time thief. Number eight, you may recognize him from Spider-Man Homecoming at the Shocker, or maybe Fargo, Queen and Slim, Jason's Lyric, or Life. And if you didn't know, Bookkeem Woodbine is a fine actor. And on The Sopranos, he appears as a rapper in one episode. Number nine, two future stars who would later appear on the HBO's The Wire, another classic show that changed television, Michael K. Williams and Michael B. Jordan appeared. Williams appeared as a character in one episode, not too far removed from his Omar character. And Jordan appeared as a kid in one of Tony Soprano's flashbacks. Number 10, a young lady Gaga appeared as a student at Anthony Jr. school. It may not be so recognizable, but it's her. Number 11, Will Arnett from Arrested Development fame played the husband of an undercover cop trying to get dirt on Tony's family. Number 12, Steve Buscemi, an established actor from movies like Reservoir Dogs and Con Air, appeared as Tony Soprano's cousin, who's released from prison by season five. Number 13, Hill Harper, known for being on CSI, appeared as a doctor. Number 14, Paula Garces, who's probably most known for being in the Harold and Kumar franchise, appears in a small role as well. Number 15, Paul Dano, known for his roles in There Will Be Blood and Prisoners, and who will also be in the brand new Batman film as the Riddler, appears as Anthony Jr.'s friend from school. Number 16, Guillermo Diaz, known for his work with Dave Chappelle on The Chappelle Show and Half Baked in the show Scandal, made a small appearance. Number 17, Michael Kelly, mostly known as Doug Stamper in House of Cards, appears as an FBI agent. Number 18, in one episode, we get appearances from hip-hop icons Tretch of Naughty by Nature and Lord Jamar of Brand Nubian. Number 19, Kristen Milioti, known for being in How I Met Your Mother and most recently, the movie Palm Springs, appears.
appeared as the daughter of a mob boss, number 20, Salinas Leva, most known for being in Orange is the New Black, also makes a small appearance. Number 21, several celebs appeared as themselves on the show, like Ben Kingsley, Wilmer Valderrama, and John Favreau. This was primarily due to Michael Imperioli's character trying to break into the film business. Number 22, William Russ, who's most known as the dad on Boy Meets World, also appeared. Number 23, Dania Ramirez, who's been in TV shows Heroes and Entourage and X-Men The Last Stand, appears as Anthony Jr.'s girlfriend towards the end of the series. Number 24, Ken Lung, mostly known for being one of the first Rush Hour antagonists, appears as a patient in a mental center where Tony's uncle lives. Number 25, Lynn manuel Miranda, who's mostly known for the Hamilton play, plays a hotel bellman in one episode. And number 26, Sarah Shahi, known for her roles in The L Word and Chicago Fire, and soon to be in the Black Adam movie with The Rock, appears as an old friend of Christopher.